Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about how to copy or clone a single work item in Azure boards All right so this is a very easy concept in Azure boards it should be very quick and easy to understand the reason I'm making separate video for this is because many people um, not sure if this option actually exists so they end up spending a lot of time in creating a new work item and linking the related um, uh, items to it you know adding new attachments again so these things and all can be avoided by just simply copying or cloning the work item okay and another greater advantage of it is you can actually convert it to a different work item type okay let me show you how this is actually done so if i go to boards under boards work items work items will show me the list of work items that I have created in the past. Okay, so these are the list of work items actually present. So if I have to copy or clone a single work item, let me pick uh, a user story. Okay, this is a user story. So for some reason, you know, in uh, there is a discussion happening in sprint planning. Uh, people uh, want to uh, make enhancement to this um, user story or for some reason they want to duplicate this or you know there might be multiple reasons for business right so in those situations what you can do is you can open that work item and you can see there are more actions uh, option at the very right corner so once i click on that there is a create copy of work item so once i select that you can clearly see there is a pop-up uh, which will copy the work item so one greater advantage of this is so you can see there is a project that is selected by default which is the current project and work item type is user story okay either you can create it as a user story work item type or you can convert it into a, any other work item type like for example i want this to be a feature okay so let me select feature here so once we uh, select the feature you can see include existing there are three uh, there are three items here one is include existing links in the case so if there are any links okay for example let me cancel this there is a link option right so if there is any links okay these links will be automatically imported there okay similarly if there are any child items also that will be imported but for in in this case it won't be because i have changed the work item type right so by but if by default you can see all these three items are in enable state it will include the existing links it will include the existing attachments if any it will include the child work items as well okay but in this case um uh, okay let me create a copy by default okay so for now it is the current uh, work item type is user story and the new one that i'm going to create is also a user story so i'm just copying that so once i copy it you can uh, just for reference i'm just making adding a title called copy so i can use as usual i can play with the ui of the work item uh, ui of the um, page where we can add additional information and just save and close it okay so when i try to create it you can see that link automatically got imported so let me save and close okay so now this work item got created so if i open this you can clearly see um, this user story got created and all other details have been imported okay this way you can easily import or uh, or easily copy or clone a single work item let's try one more okay if i open a task okay let me try to create a copy of work item so here instead of task i am trying to create it as a feature okay so once i change that you can see that include child work items got disabled because I am just trying, I am I am converting it into a different work item type. So there is no meaning in actually keeping that child work item. Okay, so that is a default behavior of Azure DevOps. So I am just copying it. Okay, this, this, is, this got created. Okay, so let me go back. 
so you gift card with master card got created if i open this you can see one more thing to notice there will be a default comment that will be added telling it is copied from so and so okay so this way you can easily you can um, copy or clone a work item so in case if you want to copy it into a different project okay let me open this bug for some reason i want to put this bug into a different project also you can do so create a copy of work item let's say project azure devops demo work item type is issue i'm just copying it saving and close it so this is now created now let me go to that different project and see if this actually got created or not here it is okay so this way you can easily copy or clone a single work item in azure boards okay so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section thank you